Hey guys, this is 3D Titan here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be creating uh, Thor's handle for the uh, hammer we were uh, creating for this three-part series. This is part two of the three-part series, and in the last video we created this metal head of the hammer. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I have my full file opened up already, as you can see. And you first, uh, first off, you want the cursor at the center, the world origin, because that's where we are going to be adding our cylinder, which is going to be our uh, the mesh we're going to be using to create the handle. So uh, we're going to be creating this handle in edit mode. And some of you might be asking, why are we doing? Uh, why can't we just extrude out from this mesh? Um, that's because we don't want to apply the uh, the subdivision surface modifier to this um, to our hammer because when we create the handle in uh, on the uh, ha metal part of the hammer it will become a kind of cubical shape and we want it to be more of a cylindrical shape so our best option is to use the cylinder mesh uh, blender gives us so why don't we we will go into edit mode and uh, if your w cursor isn't at the world center, you can just press Shift S, and you can see this called Cursor to World Origin. And um, if you click that, it should snap to the world origin. All right, so now we can press Shift A and create our cylinder. Okay, so you can see that our sh uh, the cylinder's size isn't correct. So what we're gonna do is just scale it down till about a proportional. Uh, size of the proportional size to the metal uh, head okay so make sure that some the top face is uh, s uh, somewhat inside the uh, head okay so uh, this looks good okay so now I'm just going to take this face and go into one and just move it down okay um, okay. Uh, so, if you press L, you can select this uh, cylinder mesh, as it's a separate mesh from the uh, metal head. Okay, so I think I'll press S and Shift Z to make it a bit thinner. Maybe move it up a bit, S Z, like that. Like that is good. Okay. So, all right, so let's start out with the top. So in the hammer, we see that there's a small extrusion uh, all the way on the top. So let's create that first. So control R to create a loop cut. Just uh, move it up till uh, right here. So just uh, below the, maybe like, yeah, just below the uh, head. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now go into face mode and alt left click so I get all these faces including uh, not excluding the top so I'll just press E and uh, left uh, right click so now I'll press S and shift Z to scale it out so right now I now need to move this up because uh, sorry uh, S I want to scale it out more uh, without pressing shift Z and then move it up okay so now I'm going to go to edit mode and move this down a bit okay okay so now it doesn't look too proportional to me so I'm just going to scale this one up a bit and just move this in so just make sure it looks right to you alright uh I think I can do a bit. So what I'm gonna do is just going to extrude it out once more. Yes, shift Z, like that. So yeah, this looks good to me. Okay, so now mm, uh, we got that uh, done. Let's work on the actual uh, handle, the middle part of the handle. So in the middle part, there are these small circles around the handle, and that's what we're gonna be creating. So to do that, we are going to be using a lot of loop cuts. So 
Control R to create a loop cut. And if you scroll up, you should be able to create more and more loop cuts. So uh, Control R, the default is one. If I scroll up once, it becomes two and so on and so forth. So we want it to be about So it, it needs to be very close to each other. So maybe about, uh, maybe about like 30, 20, maybe 25 of them. So that we would be selecting like um, these three and then kind of extruding them out like, uh, like this, just a bit. So that would be basically what we're doing. Okay, so. As I showed you, uh, that would be what we're doing. So, just going to be selecting. Actually, I'm going to be selecting two together, and then going to leave one, two, and then selecting two again. Uh, leave two, select two, leave two, select two. So I'm just gonna leave the bottom actually, because um, that will be its own separate part. All right. So I like this, so I'm gonna now scale it. Uh, I'm gonna extrude it. Um, right click, and then S Shift Z. Uh, you only want a bit, so maybe a bit more for me. Okay. So this looks good to me. All right. So now. Um, Sorry, sorry. Oh, one second. Okay, so now I'm just going. This looks okay, um, but this is touch to it which we haven't added yet, and that is that kind of uh, that type of touch to it. Uh, it kind of droops down um, from like one line. It kind of droops down, so we're gonna add that. So uh, you want to uh, just select the vertice which is extruded out and the vertice which is inside here and uh, go ahead and press O so that you have proportional editing on. And then you just want to uh, make the circle small about like this and then press Z and it should be something like that. Okay. So now you know the size of the circle. You want to go ahead and select all these, uh, all these vertices, so that we can do them together and not separate. Okay. So now I'm just going to press G Z, just scale them down. Uh, no, no, move them down. Sorry. Mm. Okay. So. This looks good to me. All right, so now that touch is added, and I'm just going to finish it off with the bottom. So what I'm thinking is, uh, I might have to extrude this out because it doesn't look uh, long enough um, to actually do what I want to do. All right, so yeah, this looks good. So two extrusions, try to get the same uh, sh shape. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is, so what I'm going to do is just select uh, four face, uh, four of these uh, faces, alt left click four of them, and then press E, uh, let let it drop S, and Z, and then uh, scale it S like that, and then just make sure that the shape is right. So if I feel like this should be a bit more horizontal, and um, Okay, so you want to get that type of flashlight type of shape. All right, so on the bottom, we're just going to extrude it down just a bit. And then going to select uh, that small uh, line of faces, which is right uh, right in the middle of the uh, top face and the bo uh, bottom face. And um, what we're just going to do is E, S, Shift Z, and let that scale. Okay, so now I'm just going to select these faces on the bottom and press S, G, Z, 
Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to move this out a bit like that. Okay, so now we have the basic shape of the handle. So one, uh, one last thing I'm going to do to make this look better is I'm going to be adding the subdivision modifier. So uh, it's called subdivision surface. And once you add it, oh, right. So before you add it, you might, you want to uh, keep this as a separate mesh because when you add it, uh, when you, uh, since it's connected to this uh, metal head, it would uh, apply the subdivision surface for not only the handle, it'll also apply it for the head. So what we're going to do is separate this by selection. So what I'm going to do is press P and that should say separate and by selection. Okay, so now if you edit out and click on this and the head, the handle and the head are now two separate meshes. So now if we can go ahead and add the subdivision surface. Okay, so now what the subdivision surface has done is it's adding more vertices. Um, so the problem is now these areas here, it's kind of a very, it's not very sharp. We want it to be sharp up here. So what we're going to do is go into edit mode and instead of, there's two ways we can do this. Uh, we can either add loop cuts or we can use something called the crease. Um, and we're going to be using the crease. So I'm just going to select the faces which I want it to be creased. And what this crease is going to do is kind of like when you fold a paper and you kind of put it down on a table and you start flattening it out, that, that edge which you folded it on becomes much sharper, right? And that's what we're going to be doing here. So I'm just selecting the faces which I want to... Uh, add some crease to okay so I've added it to all the things I want it, want it to be on so now I'm going to press N and you should see this pop up right now I'm on my screencast keys which you should not have or which you uh, which you don't have or maybe you do I'm not sure so now what I'm going to do is go and go to tran uh, item so the first one and it should say transform and properties click on transform and you should see these median vertices data and edges data so you want to go to the last uh, last one which is called mean increase and you want to increase this to one so right away you should see this purple thing uh, popping up on the uh, viewport here so what this purple thing is telling us is that we have added the crease and now you can see it's very sharp here but we're letting uh, it's becoming it's kind of blunt back there so one more i'm just going to increase the viewport subdivisions uh to two and then change the render to three so right now it's looking really nice and um the last thing i'm just going to do is add the shade smooth and just add one loop cut right here so that it kind of flattens out like that and yeah you are done with the hammer so the next episode we'll be adding some materials to it and making it look like the thor's hammer so uh, thanks again for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one